This might shock you, but I don't usually rewatch episodes of My Life as a Teenage Robot. Unless there's something I need to research for a video, I don't usually feel the need to. Thanks to reruns of My Life as a Teenage Robot appearing on Nick Canada, I've been taking the time to appreciate the show all over again. One of the episodes that I've had the opportunity to revisit is none other than Victim of Fashion, an episode which I hadn't seen since 2015. I remember hating the premise of it, and I thought that the episode was just really mean-spirited. But watching it in 2020 changed my mind on a lot of things. The episode revolves around Jenny trying to be more stylish than the Crust Cousins in an effort to be more popular at Charmerton High. While that sounds about as interesting as watching Spongebob try to use a phone, <laughs> Oh, it magically knows all my friends! It's actually really entertaining. While I was watching, I was trying to put my finger on what made it stand out from the other episodes. Something felt really exceptional about it. I believe that its use of music and visuals hasn't been topped by any other episode of the show. Every time that they reveal a new dress of Jenny's, they accompany it with a charming tune. Jenny's transformations are visually striking and they radiate the beauty of Alex Kirwan's art direction. The episode is a showcase of the crew's talent. You could tell that they absolutely loved working with Art Deco because everything during the competition sequences had passion oozing in every frame. When I was 15, I didn't appreciate the aesthetic of the show as much as I do now. Rewatching this particular episode felt like a whole new experience. It's definitely my favorite 11-minute My Life as a Teenage Robot segment. Is what I would be saying if it was 11 minutes long. All right. So, Victim of Fashion joins A Robot for All Seasons and Escape from Cluster Prime as the only episodes that are longer than the standard 11-minute segment. Unfortunately, while I absolutely love the first half of Victim of Fashion, there needs to be some sort of conflict to give the episode an arc. In this case, Britt and Tiff decide to wear clothes that make them look very slim. Jenny can't recreate that style unless she strips all of her weapons from herself. In the end, she has Sheldon strip her down, creating this admittedly hilarious gag. When Jenny returns to school, she's literally a wireframe, and for some reason the kids at school love her new grotesque look. I can't imagine how a kid who suffers from anorexia would feel about this. In the end, Jenny gets herself in hot water when the space bikers show up to kick her ass with no weapons to defend herself. If Tuck didn't show up in a mech made from Jenny's parts, she'd be a goner. Of course, he also references aliens by saying, Get away from her, you fish! Get away from her, you bitch! Of course, everything works out in the end. Jenny admits that it was stupid of her to put herself at risk for the sake of fashion. However, as soon as Tuck gets complimented for looking like Jenny, she gets Sheldon to repair her. While I think the first half of the episode was really great, the second half was undoubtedly missing the passion I felt at first. They clearly had a great idea for a visual set piece, and just needed some way to resolve it. Did it have to be 22 minutes long? Who knows? I'm just glad that I was able to experience the first half of it. So, are you guys interested in hearing us talk about more episodes? Which one would you want us to cover next? Tell us in the comments below. And if you're a fan of My Life as a Teenage Robot, you should check out our Discord. It's the most active My Life as a Teenage Robot community as of right now. I've been your narrator, YoshiFan2010. Thanks for watching.
Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, leave a rating. If you want to reach us, leave a comment. Or check out our other platforms. Links are in the description. An afternoon off. Oh.